Hi, this is Luke Miller, Capstan Ag rep here in Illinois, Wisconsin. We got Leaf Spurley here, our precision technician, the same area. We wanted to address a couple issues that were here and coming in this spring with guys that had the John Deere uh, Starfire updates this spring. Uh, seems like that was kind of a mandatory thing that everybody is experiencing. We're getting quite a volume of phone calls with uh, customers that are experiencing some issues getting GPS on the pinpoint after the John Deere update. So uh, this would apply to Evo and Sharpshooter products as well. Uh, to some degree so we'll flip this around and show you what we're, what we're running into and uh, show you how to fix it so <clears throat> the the common complaint is when you turn on your turn or overlap button when these guys are getting these machines out of the spring or out of the shed this spring it has this no gps signal error so <clears throat> pretty easy fix but what's happened is when we're going through the john or john deere did the updates it resets the settings in the starfire so Let's go to our menu, go to applications, scroll down to your Starfire. This, this process will be somewhat similar for a 2630 display as this one's a 4640, uh, but just the way to get into it's a little different. Once you hit the Starfire button, this screen should look pretty much the same as it does on a 2630, but your issue lies right here where it resets your baud rate, output rate, and your NEMA messages to, uh, back to defaults. So what I like to run in pinpoints, is a 38400 baud rate and we would like to toggle up to a 10 hertz output rate and make sure you have gga vtg and zda selected and for the messages coming out of the display go ahead and close that out now when we turn on our display we should have no error saying no gps messages or, or no gps right now we have a no rate control signal because the pump's not on on this particular machine but that'll address your issue uh to verify it i guess come into your system setup arrow down to line 21 and make sure your baud rate reads 38400 which is the same as what we just set up in the john deere thanks for watching